Welcome back to Zach Collect Stuff. I have an opening video for you today. Uh, Skybox, Metal Universe 2122 Hockey. And so they've released a bunch of different Metal Universe cards over the last year or so. The Spider-Man one came out. Um, the Universe Champions came out, which was kind of like the multi-sport thing from Upper Deck. And now they have a hockey specific. So this is the 2021-22 rookie class. So the likes of Cole Caulfield, Zegras, Lucas Raymond, Mo Sider. So obviously I'm looking for the, the Red Wings guys. But there's some really cool inserts that you can pull out of here too that I'm kind of looking for. Um, die cuts and stuff that really harken back to kind of when I was a kid collecting in the 90s. And that first uh, Fleer Metal came out. And then the Fleer Ultra Metal or whatever it was called. Um, Skybox Metal came out. But uh, really excited to open these up and see how they're doing with the 21-22 class. <clears throat> I know the one from last year was super popular, so I'm hoping this one is just as good. So let's take a look and review this product. All right, so I actually bought one of these on eBay, a couple bucks, uh, but it's the Most Cider Planet Metal. I'm really excited about these inserts. I love die cuts. If you've watched my videos before, you've heard me talk about die cuts before. Um, Super cool looking card. They have the uh, Lucas Raymond as well. And I hopefully can pick one of those up. Hopefully I'll pull one out of the, one of these boxes. But I'm also looking for the Caulfield uh, and the Zegris to kind of go along with it. But other more rare uh, inserts would be super cool to pull. I would love that. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. There's the inside there. Five packs per box, seven cards per pack. And those opened up way too easy. I know the Spider-Man ones were ridiculously hard to open up. Here's one of our blue parallels. Shea Theodore. Pull off the back. There's a call field right there. My first pack. Love that. It's a good stand worthy card. Sid the Kid. David Perone. Kucherov. Good one. Ross Colton. Rookie Blue. Don't know anything about Ross Colton, but he plays for a good team and he's a center. So I put him in the decent pile there. Good start there with the Caulfield rookie base. Love that. I know they have the variations too, so I'll point that out as we go through. Not too familiar with the cards and the collation here, but Gallagher. Oh, that first one was a rookie too. Rasmus Kapari. Ooh, big man on ice is what I'm excited about here. Very cool. Love that. Not the best name to get, Brady Kachuk. Super cool there. Love these cards. These die cuts are nice looking. I might try to build this whole set. Like, they look awesome. It's a really cool... That's odd. Why is it upside down? Are all of them like that? Anybody else notice that? Kind of odd because it cuts off everything on the bottom. Like, you would think, like... This part would be on this. But anyways, cool looking card. I love that. Hendrix Lapierre and a Carey Price. Blue. So cool looking. I love these blue parallels. I think it'd be awesome to buy the entire set of these blues. Yeah, that big man on ice. That's, that's such a weird backside on it. That there. I love the shimmers here too. Keith Yandel, Jonathan Dolan, rookie. I don't know if I should, no longer mint. I'm dropping things all over the place here. Barkoff, Pacioretty, Doty. There's a blue Ryan O'Reilly. I, I guess I didn't realize you get that a blue in every 
um, retail pack. And we got a Cole Lind Prospects. Not numbered on that one, but they look great. Put that one on the stage up there. I'm not exactly sure if Cole Lind is a decent one. I haven't heard that name too much. Maybe I've just been removed from hockey too much, but I got a Planet Metal here. Very cool. Brad Marchand, Huberto, Suzuki, Gord, and it's a gold. Vasilevsky. I know there's a couple different ones. I think this is the. Uh, so if this is the base, this would be the gold variation. That's so cool looking. Love that. Not exactly sure how rare that might be. Pull Caulfield off the stage. Let's look at the, the odds here. Planet Metal, Planet Metal, anybody? I guess I'm going to have... Oh, there's Planet Metal there. Planet Metal regular is 1 in 20. Gold Parallels 1 in 60. All right. 1 in 60 packs. Not bad. Oh, got to finish that one pack. Sorry. This is the variation I'm talking about. It's got the different style. Um, definitely the old throwback there. It's got the different um, design. And a Van Riemsdyk. Blue. Last pack. Obviously, you'd love to see an autograph or something like that come out of these. But uh, probably not going to happen. Hellebuck. Giroux. Oh, there's an Ovi. Alexander Ovechkin. The Cheddar die cut. Not exactly sure how I feel about these. It's a cool different card. And I got the right name. I mean, Ovechkin's hot right now. So, looks like the centering's terrible on this, though. Nice blue rookie. Beckman. Cool. That's the end of box one. So, overall, box one, I mean, from what I've been seeing, you can pick these boxes up at retail looking anywhere between 25 and 30 bucks. My dad was saying they had them at Meyer for like 35. I got these at Barnes and Noble using the uh, teacher discount. So I was able to get the boxes for about 24 bucks a box. At 24 bucks a box, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Seeing how many different parallels you have, the inserts that you get, um, lots of rookies. All right, got the blue Raymond. Yeah, too bad there's this Big ding, this big nick right on the top here. It's almost like the paper got caught on something as they were making it. Ugh, that stinks. That's the guy I'm looking for. Oh, well. Cool pull, though. Glad that I pulled that. Another rookie there, Giordano, and Sorokin. I'm still going to put him in a top loader and put him on the stage. That's a cool card. Not too late to pull a big card here. Three packs left. Ross Colton. I pulled his blue parallel. Tyler Bertuzzi. Love watching him play. He's good. Morgan Barron. Prospect card. Matt Dumba, and Nico Dawes. Cool looking cards. Not the right names. Two packs left. Got another die cut here. Maybe Planet Metal. Another one. Ryan O'Reilly. Denisenko. Price. Van Riemsdyk. Hey, Kaprasov. That's not a bad one. Kaprasov Planet Metal. Really like that. And Dreisaitl. Wrong Oiler. Still super good, but uh, the blue parallel there is nice. I love these Planet Metals. 
Nice looking card. This is the base one. Glad that I pulled the base and the gold. Wish that I had pulled the right names, though. Last pack. Find some ma magic here. What is that one? Oh, nice. <laughs> That's the guy I'm looking for. There we go. Amped up Lucas Raymond. It's perfect. That's the card I'm looking for. These ones aren't quite as rare either. I can't remember exactly what the odds were on the Amped Up. Hmm. One in ten, so about one every blaster, one every other blaster. But nice one. Pulled the right name for me anyways. Very happy about that. Another parallel there, or alternate. Tevu Teravainen, blue. And then to finish it off, Suter, Kaprasov, Atkinson. So, my overall reaction... My overall reaction to these boxes, love the look of them. The set is definitely a great throwback to previous years, the 90s. And uh, the cards look great. Quality control... Um, I think centering is might be an issue. Foil cards are always near impossible to grade anyways, so I'm not sure if I will send any out to grading. Um, but actually, I probably won't. But it's hockey, it's just going to sit in my PC. I might sell off a few of the other ones that I don't really need for the PC, but most of them will sit in my collection. Uh, the Raymond, I'm super excited about pulling the Amped Up and the Blue Parallel Raymond. Pretty stoked about that. But uh, overall, I think it's... If, if you can get these boxes at about... I would say maybe 25 bucks or under. I think you're sitting pretty. Um, you're going to pull off some really cool inserts every box. There's going to be die cuts, which is awesome in my book. Um, there's going to be a little bit of color with the blue parallels. You're going to find some of these speckle, which is almost like a refractor. Um, add some nice eye appeal. But overall, I think it's a great buy at about 25 less than $30. Bucks. Um, if you're paying 35 and up for these blasters, the, the, the payoff's not going to be there for you on the back end of it. If you're just looking for a nice rip, a fun rip, um, five packs, um, you're going to pull some die cuts, and it's really cool-looking stuff. The base cards, they're okay. Base cards are pretty good. The Planet Metals, probably my favorite. Really cool looking insert. Definitely something you would have seen in the 90s. The Big Man on Ice. This is a throwback to the basketball insert from the 90s, I believe. But I love the look of these ones. And then the others, like the base and the Planet Metals and the, uh, I'm trying to think here these which definitely goes back to the 90s style it has the background with like galactic stuff in the background um i wish the entire set was this design like i feel like it would be a better representation of metal if it was all that design but um i feel like it's it's still a b plus a minus release in my in my grading book like i feel like it's a it's a great release there's super cool stuff the names are all there for the 21 22 rookie class um and if you can pull a caulfield a raymond a, a zegris uh byfield um i think he right, yeah i'm pretty sure his name's in there and cider like i feel like if you pull one of those guys you're gonna be you, you should be okay if you're looking to resell the value may not be there but uh these are a great pull and i feel like this hockey product is probably one of my favorites. I, I I like this one a lot better than just Upper Deck. I know Upper Deck, you're chasing the young guns, but I feel like this, for me, um, there's actually some eye appeal to the inserts that you're pulling out of here. So um, overall, I really love this product. I think it's cool. Uh, if you can find it, you're going to probably pay between 25 and 30 bucks a blaster, uh, hopefully not more than that. If you're looking on the, the secondary market, uh, somebody that's picked them up to resell them, you're probably going to end up paying 35 to 40 bucks a blaster. Thanks for your views. 
I appreciate every one of them. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I will respond to you. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below as well. Uh, but besides that, until I see you again, have a fantastic day. See ya.